Hi guys, the Food Mere Cat is back. Right, so in the spirit of Halloween, I've got my flashing pumpkin here. How fab. Um, so it's just a quick um, little fun recipe really. I'm thinking Halloween just round the corner, so why not make something a bit Halloween -y? So what I'm thinking of doing is um, something very simple and it's just going to require some tortilla wraps and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make some pumpkin pizzas woohoo how exciting <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to carve out um, some eyes their nose and a funny little mouth and we'll see how that gets on the kids will love it I'm sure adults will love it too come on it is Halloween. Let's get into the Halloween spirit, guys. Yeah? Okay, you know what I'm saying? Right, okay then. So, better move my camera down. Right. So, let me just show you what I'm doing. If I can get the camera in the right angle. That's not very good, is it? Oh, hang on. I've got it. Right, so, I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. So, what we're going to do is we're going to cut out some eyes. Now I'm going to do some triangle eyes. Obviously you guys can do whatever eyes you want. So I've got a triangle eye there. And I'm just going to carve out another eye. Going through both of the tortilla breads. Um, might do a little nose. Why not? My pumpkin can have a little nose as well. There we go. And then I'm going to do a smile. Oh, this is going a bit wonky. Oh, <laughs> what have we got here? Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad, eh? We're having a little practice. Bearing in mind I've never done this before. I just thought it would be a good idea, really. Okay, then. So, that's my pumpkin face. Looks quite scary, actually, doesn't it? <laughs> you can name them as well if you want, right? Okay, then. So we've got that and now what I've got is some orange food colouring woohoo so what I'm gonna do with that is I'm just gonna brush it slightly over our pumpkin so I'm thinking actually it might be better to put this in a plate otherwise it's just gonna go everywhere now oh yeah I wanted to say as well my films that I'm putting on YouTube, my videos, they are unedited. So I don't, I don't edit them. I just kind of put all the clips together if I have to pause and show you bits um, that I've had to come back to while I'm cooking them. So they're all unedited. I don't bother putting any mistakes. I think it's quite fun. Just stick it all on the internet, keeping it real. Why not? I think it makes it more fun, really. A bit more interesting. Um, oh, yes. And I also forgot. On my last video, I did finish the recipe for the paneer and the peppers and I kind of uh, run out of memory on my memory card. That's why it kind of cut off at the end. But I'd finished. I was just going to waffle on and just say, hey, have a good time making all my uh, uh, recipes. So now this is meant to be orange. It's looking a bit of a dodgy colour, actually. <laughs> it looks slightly red. Oh, well, it can be blood pumpkins then, can't it? But... Um, if you just dab it on, I suppose it look, gives the effect of more like a, like a unpolished pumpkin. That's what we want. An unpolished pumpkin. Because it is Halloween at the end of the day and the pumpkins are not perfect. Just like, why not? Hello? Yeah? So we're just going to put all that over. Like that. And the tortilla wraps actually give it quite a nice pumpkin effect because they're not smooth. So, woohoo! That is actually quite a good pumpkin. I'm very proud of that. Wow. That looks amazing. That is going to be an amazing pumpkin pizza. Even if I do say so myself. Come on. That is amazing balls. Right. So. Now for our filling. This is very, very important. So we want it to taste good, don't we? So if it's going to be a pizza one. We'll put like a pizza topping, um, a pizza sauce in the middle. We'll put in some cheese. Let's get some cheese slices. And a bit of onion and a bit of a bit of tomatoes. I think that'll be quite good. We'll always put some peppers in, a bit of herbs. 
and I think that'll that'll taste amazing. So what we're gonna do is I'm just going to put a bit of this pump this um this sauce in and I'll show you what it looks like. But it literally is just a scraping of this um it's almost like a pasta sauce really and I suppose pasta sauce has a bit more flavour so you could put that in and it kind of looks like blood is oozing out of it as well now that is fab for Halloween but I'm just putting a scraping on because we don't want to get it too wet because it might rip and then so it's just like that like a tomato base like you put on a pizza so we just put a scraping of that on and then I'm going to put in some cheese now you can get some cheese slices or you can grate your cheese whichever one you fancy I've just got the slices because I think it's a lot easier so I'm just going to go in with the slices there and I'm just what I'm doing is I'm breaking up these slices into like pieces so I can kind of go around the eyes and the mouth that I've just carved and then it's just going to look so much more better and just put that around there put that around there put that bit around the nose we want it to all melt and stick together now i'm just going to stick this under the grill because i think it'll melt under the grill but if you guys want to put it under the oven you can do uh, and then all i'm going to do is just get some onion and just put it into little squares just chop it up but if you want them bigger you can chop them up bigger and just stick it around the mouth eyes and nose areas so in all the areas we've got the tortilla wrap okay and then we're going to go in with some herbs now i like bringing some oregano dried oregano is always good on a pizza i think i think it just makes it taste so much better well it's not exactly a pizza but they're like thin pumpkin pizzas aren't they so we're just going to stick in some these little tomatoes i like to chop up you can chop up any tomatoes you want and we're just going to put them into the space as well give it a bit more of a tomatoey taste and then we're going to put them under the grill and I reckon they should melt fantastically okay I might put just a little bit more cheese on because I'm thinking I've just put the onion and the tomato on so I'm thinking is I might have to put a bit on that just to make it stick a bit more because otherwise the other side of the pumpkin is going to fall off um, the, the tortilla wrap is going to fall off so we just put a bit more cheese on I'm just going to stick that on top like so and then what we're going to do is we're going to get a baking tray because what will happen is it'll just go all over your grill and it'll just completely ruin it and it's going to be like ah it's such a mess oh my god and we don't want that the baking tray that big I'm just gonna line it with foil so if any of the cheese oozes out it loses out onto the baker onto the um, foil rather than everywhere else and I think that's looking pretty amazing that already shall I show you I haven't even gone under the grill but I just think it looks fab so there we go he's looking quite scary I think that is good for Halloween that's a fab little uh, snack or even a meal. Okay, so let's get that lovely. Fab. That is looking fantastic. Right, okay, so we're going to put that under the grill. And I reckon we can put it on medium, medium to high. I think that should do it. And I've got another on, another idea as well for Halloween. I think it's fab. Right, so. We've got these orange peppers, right? So while that's cooking, we're gonna, what we're gonna do is, I think these would make quite nice um, pumpkins, just little ones, decoration, or you could stuff them as well. You could put in rice, you could put in some fries sticking out, um, even some crisps, I think it'll look fab. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the lid, um, take, up, take off the top of the pepper, like so. So you've got two bits, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to take out all them seeds. So, just put your knife round like that, as you can see, like that. And we're just going to get out all the seeds and them white bits in the middle. 
okay? So you're left with something that's quite hollow. Now I think that'll make a really good uh, party platter, kind of um, Halloween party platter. It'll be good to go to Halloween party platter. Now the reason why is because it looks, I think it makes an amazing pumpkin. Can you see there's a theme emerging? I'm just like pumpkin obsessed, like pumpkin decoration, pumpkin pizza, and now I've got a pumpkin um, pepper stuff going on. It's just amazing really. Now this is quite difficult actually, I've never done it before. I thought it, it'll be quite fun. I think this is actually the difficult bit because you've got to put some eyes on the pumpkin. So I'm just going to go with the triangular eyes. I'm starting to like triangle eyes. <laughs> and uh, there we are. So we've got two eyes there. Looks a bit wonky eyes these. Let me just make that one a bit bigger. So it looks a bit, looks a bit more symmetrical. Okay, so we've got two eyes. And now we can go in with a little nose. I'm just going to do a little tiny thing for the nose, nothing too big. Oh god, this is a lot harder than it looks. Okay, so we've got a mini nose there. And then we can go in with a little pumpkin smile. Hello. This is going to look amazing. Well, don't want that to burn. Just check on that. Actually, I think I might have to put it on low gas. Looks like it's burning a little bit. Okay, so we're going to carve the smile there. Oh, we're getting there. Oh. oh, we've got a little bit of a smile. I think we've got, oh, we've done it. Fab. Okay, so there we have a little smiley pumpkin. And then we can put his uh, hat on there. So you can fill that with like crisps and stuff. And the kids can come and like just put, put the top off the pumpkin and just get their little crisps out of there. So I think that's a really good idea as well. Let me just check on my uh, tortilla wrap because I have a feeling it's burning. Okay, that's not too bad. It looks like a burnt pumpkin. Okay, never mind. Um, but you guys get the idea. You know what you're doing. You guys are amazing cooks and I know you can do this. And I've got my Halloween gloves on as well. So... Now what we're going to do is we're going to try and present it nicely. I mean, I've already made one to show you guys. You guys obviously have the time and you guys can make so many more. But I just love this um, pumpkin pizza. I think actually what you guys will need to do is put it on low gas because I've realised um, it's going to burn the top but not cook the rest. So we don't want that to happen. Okay, so that's that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some crisps in here and I think that'll look quite cool. So, what I'm going to do is put some french fries in there. I think french fries look amazing. And kiddies can just come and pick them out. Or even the adults, I'm saying kiddies. I'm sure adults um, love Halloween just as much as me. So we're just sticking them in there and french fries. Again, you can put chips in. But I think they just look so cool. You guys will do a much better job than me, I know you will. I'm just gonna stick them in there. So. Okay. I'm just gonna move this tray out of the way. Just getting in my way. Okay, so guys, we've got our pumpkin pizza and our little friend over here. The pumpkin, Mr. Pumpkin Guy. You can have his little hat on if we want. Well, it does look like a pumpkin actually, it's quite cool. I can't stand him up, he's wonky. Oh, I'm done, we've got it. Right, so. Let me just show you what I fin my finished product looks like. Okie dokie. So guys, by the way, happy Halloween. I hope you guys have an amazing time. I'm going to be celebrating my dad's birthday on the weekend, his 60th. And then I'll be celebrating Halloween next week. And I've got my outfit. Amazing. And I'll be making these as well. And I hope you guys do too. So here we go. 
So guys, let me just show you. So there's Mr. Pumpkin Pizza. And there's my uh, Happy Pumpkin guy there. And he's got all his french fries in there. And do you know what? It's not much, but you know what? It looks amazing. I think that one's my favourite, actually. I think it looks a lot better than that one. I think I kind of rushed that one, but that one looks amazing with the food colour and everything. And I think everybody would love that. So, 